Hello, welcome to Biostock Studio here in Lund. Today we're taking a closer look at Alligator Bioscience, a biotech company based right here in Lund. Joining me in the studio today is CEO of the company, Søren Bregenholt. He'll be answering a few questions about the company's latest news. Welcome, Søren. Thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure being here. Pleasure having you on. <clears throat> you recently announced new safety data regarding your Optimize 1 Phase 2 trial with Mitazalima, but could you share some of the results with us? Yeah, basically what we shared was the fact that the safety part of, uh, of Optimize 1, the Phase 2 study in metastatic pancreatic cancer, has now been completed and that uh, based on those data, we, from, from, that co from those cohorts, we are now uh, able to continue the, the phase two study at, at the highest dose test at the 900 microgram per kilogram dose. Uh, and we are, of course, excited about uh, metazolumab being safe and, and well tolerable uh, in combination with the chemotherapy for Firinox. Of course, oh, that's great news. Um, <clears throat> so could you tell us a little bit about what the next steps are for the study? Yeah, the next steps is that we uh, continue enrolling uh, on plan, uh, enrolling patients on plan as we have been doing. Uh, sites are open in, uh, in France and Belgium, and we are underway uh, with activities to actually expedite uh, and accelerate the, the recruitment uh, even further. And then uh, we will uh, report efficacy data, interim efficacy data uh, during Q4, uh, so that's later this year. That's, of course, a huge milestone for Alligator. Mm -hmm. Uh, with so much going on, uh, it seems you're also growing the company. Uh, um, could you tell us a little bit about your new recruit? Yeah, so uh, I'm sure you you, uh, you referred to the fact that we recruited a new chief medical officer, Sumit, uh, announced that a couple of, uh, of months ago. So Sumit comes with a, an excellent uh, track record from developing uh, all the way to registration antibody drugs in, in, his, uh, in his previous career. And we're, of course, uh, excited to have Sumit on the team and believe that that really strengthens our, our ability to develop metasalumab through phase two uh, and potentially uh, beyond. Mm -hmm. And as uh, we have discussed previously, we are in the process, of course, of uh, accelerating Optimize 1, but also preparing a second phase 2 study with, uh, with metasalumab to, uh, to, to broaden the, the clinical utility of the molecule and also hedge some of the inherent risk in, uh, in drug development. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you also recently announced the annual report for, for 2021, and you mentioned a new compound, ADER 4066, yeah. correct? Could you tell us a little bit more about what this is? Yeah, so that, that is uh, a new exciting molecule based on our Neo X Prime platform. So that's a third generation uh, CD40 agonist, so building on all the biology of uh, metacellumab and also building on all of the antibody technologies that we have in-house at Alligator. So the molecule is a bispecific antibody that binds both CD40 and activates the immune system, and at the same time binds uh, to so-called tumor-associated antigens uh, expressed on, on, uh, on certain tumor types, mm -hmm. giving a more efficacious and more safe uh, molecule. And we are really excited about the preclinical data that we have seen with uh, uh, 4066. Mm -hmm. uh, very exciting indeed. Um, well, I'd like to jump to uh, your other phase two project, uh, 8 or 1017. Could you tell us a little bit about where that stands and uh, uh, if results are going to come soon from that project? Yeah, first of all, it's it's uh, unfortunately only a phase one project, but uh, but anyway, uh, we can all be hopeful that it will be a phase two project eventually. Yeah, so so we are in uh, in the final stages of uh, of uh, of recruiting patients and and uh, completing that trial. We will update the market uh, within the, the coming weeks on, on the progress, and then we uh, expect to be able to, uh, to share the full trial result at, uh, at ASCO uh, in, uh, in early June, which is the appropriate place to, uh, to announce this data. And then uh, we are in the process of, uh, of uh, uh, getting ready uh, for phase two, if the data allows, of course, and, and we are also in the process of, uh, of identifying potential partners to help us develop uh, 1017 uh, as, it, uh, as it deserves. Mm -hmm. I got ahead of myself yeah. there with, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the phase but, of the project. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a true believer. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, there seems to be a lot to talk about with potential partners. Yeah. Um, recently, ha have you had any good feedback from the industry? 
Yeah, I think we, we made a we made a, a number of uh, of agreements last year uh, with uh, with Macrogenics, uh, also with Orion. I think that's good feedback for the industry, uh, as as good as it comes. Uh, that that uh, the deal with uh, with Orion has uh, created some resonance. Uh, we have picked up dialogues on uh, on our technologies with with a number of uh, of uh, potential partners. And as I said, uh, ten seventeen is something where we're actively looking for a partner, and and that's. That's an interesting molecule. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we are all awaiting uh, the final uh, data readout. And, uh, and the Neo X Prime uh, technology platform has also uh, created uh, some interest, uh, not the least because of the renewed uh, belief in CD40 based on satellite genetics data, on, uh, on data coming out from Roche, uh, on their second ge generation molecules, so on and so forth. So yes, I'm, uh, I'm confident in, uh, in our ability to make deals also in 2022. Mm -hmm. Well, finally, uh, what is on the agenda for, for this spring for Alligator? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot. Uh, <laughs> as, as you said, we are, we, we are doing a lot of things. So, so we are, uh, big ticket items is that we will have to read out, or we will read out uh, 1017, as we just discussed. We have a molecule 527 that we are co-developing with, uh, with Aptivo. Um, we are getting ready to get that molecule into the clinic uh, during, during 2022. And then, of course, we have to uh, ensure that we continue uh, to enroll the patients in Optimize One so we can deliver the results that we have uh, promised the market that we will. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you so much for answering the questions and we do look forward to all this uh, exciting news coming yeah. out of Alligator. Yeah, thanks, it's been a pleasure.